Welcome to Paper Wishes Thursday vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I am featuring Concord and Ninth fill-in stamps. I love these stamps. They're, we've been having so much fun working with them this week. They're really versatile and they just take layering stamps to a whole nother level. So let me introduce you to each one of these. This is the Laurel Frame stamp. This one is the Blooms fill-in stamp the Grateful for Everything stamp set, and this one is the Hi There Bear stamp set, which I think is really adorable. Um, I'm gonna show you some uh, techniques here, but let me start with this one, uh, the Grateful for Everything stamp set. This is the card that I made using this stamp set. Um, I just used some Spectrum Noir pens to do some coloring on this, and um, I particularly like this background, which looks like I did a lot of um, masking to get that great green background look, but I didn't. This particular block stamp um, featured in this um, Great Before Everything stamp set just really does the trick so easily. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And so I've already got my image stamped here already using my trusty Misty. Okay, so um, this one, it does have a little bit of a directional learning curve here. When you're stamping this, you want to make sure that the background, because it's very horizontal, in other words, let me get an image here, this green part right back here is very horizontal. So if this stamp, the focal stamp, is not at the right angle, then when you go to line up the background stamp, it's gonna go wonky on you. Go uphill or downhill. So learn from my mistake. In fact, here is an example of that. So I went ahead and stamped this image without considering how the background, which direction it was gonna go, and it just went right uphill, okay? So learn from my mistake on that one. So now that I've got this image um, stamped, then I take these background pieces and I just put them right over this little cluster of berries. I'm aligning those. I'm also aligning some of the leaves that are on here and getting those kind of more than just one thing. I'm using sort of two or three areas that I'm paying attention to alignment, okay? And if those are in alignment, I feel like, okay, the rest will fall into place. All right, so the same goes with the left side. We've got all these little strands of grass, but also these big leaves up here. Okay, I think we've got that. All right, I feel good about that. All right, so I'm gonna close my door. That attached missing one of my magnets here and I'm feeling that okay so now I'm gonna do a little inking I'm using um, shabby shutters um, distress oxide ink which I love the color is so beautiful okay so here we go now I'm going to just close that down, a little pressure. What did we do before we had stamping platforms to make sure all of our ink was getting where we wanted it to? I don't know about you, but I wasted a lot of paper and a lot of time. There we go. Okay, so it's got some distressed areas that are meant to be there that aren't going to uh, actually touch the paper so don't be alarmed by that but I want to give this one more inking just to make sure I get a nice rich background okay all right there we go okay can you see that is just so easy to take care of once you get those elements aligned no problem at all all right, so let's move on to some other ones. All right, here's a card that Debbie did using the Hi There Bear stamp set. So cute. 
okay? So she used these elements to make a panda, then a cute little brown bear. Um, she inked those, and then this particular one, the guy looks like Winnie the Pooh, she used some Spectrum Noir markers for that, some pens. Um, so those are alcohol ink. Um, I just love that. Everything here is included, the little grass, the little flowers, the balloon, the sentiment. So sweet, right? And then for this background, Okay, so this is the Blooms fill-in, and I just went ahead and did a step out for you on this one. With this one, I used the stamping platform. It's really essential to use a stamping platform for this particular one. So um, I stamped the background, okay? And then I went ahead, and once I had that done, I took these little individual stamps and just used my stamping block and went around and used just a little brighter, bolder color um, to fill in those areas. And you can do any color. You're creating your own background here. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. You're creating any background that you want with these, and I love that. I mean, how beautiful would this be in like a really rich navy background or um, a red background for Christmas? Just gorgeous. Okay, so let's move on to the Laurel Frame stamp set. And this one I also have this is a step out on how Debbie did this one. So first she stamped this portion right here and she used a lighter green. And then she stamped again using the stamping platform with a darker green to get this image here. See, so here's her final image where she added the flowers as well. Let's give you a zoom in on this. So she added the flowers um, in the same method in a three-step process. Just really beautiful. Um, the sentiments, welcome and happily, uh, too happily ever after, really beautiful. I mean, I can even see cutting away the center and using that as a frame and putting on a scrapbook page. Really beautiful. So I would really encourage you to take a look at the Concord Ninth fill-in stamps. They're gorgeous, they're fun to play with. Thanks for joining me today.